So Dave, what is Weight Check? It's all about helping people understand their weights of their car and their caravan. So when you hook your car and your caravan together, you've basically got six weight compliances there that you must comply with. Three for the car, three for the caravan. Uh, and it is important that you're within those weights to make sure the vehicle and the caravan operate safely. Can you explain the uh, tear weight to us? What's yeah. that mean? So when we look at this uh, JK All-Terrain Journey here, uh, the compliance plate's on the inside of the front door. It has a number of compliance ratings or metrics on it. Yeah. Uh, the first one is the tear weight. So when this was constructed in Melbourne at the JK factory, at the final stage of manufacture, they weighed it. So it had the awning on it, the fridge was in it, the mattresses were in it. Everything is in that caravan or on that caravan ready for you to take delivery of it. It was weighed over the weigh bridge. Uh, this uh, all-terrain came in at around about 2,600 kilos, empty. Of course, when we go away in our vans, we tend to load them up. We what do. sort of weight uh, yep. have, have, is there provision for? Yep, okay. So again, with this journey all-terrain, we've got 600 kilos of available payload. Oh, so okay. 600 sounds like a lot, but in the scope of things, once you fill the two water tanks, two gas bottles, you've already taken 200 kilos of that. So we're left with 400 kilos. So 400 kilos sounds like a lot, but you think about all those things you put in it, like your Weber barbecue and all that. 16 or 17 kilos for a Weber barbecue. Carton of beer, 13 kilos. Well, hang on, that's an essential. Yeah, maybe two, there's 26. <laughs> right, okay, but so it adds up quick. My word. And, okay. and I always get asked a lot of questions about you know what things weigh. Basically, for two people to go away, like myself and my wife, we put about 60 kilos of food and clothing in that caravan. Wow. With the caravan, we've also got a rating or a compliance rating that includes the weight that we impose on the wheels or the axles. It's called the gross trailer mass. So in trucking terms, gross trailer mass or gross mass usually means the overall weight. In caravan terms, we're only talking about the weight imposed on the caravan's wheels or axles. But we also got the weight imposed on the tow ball or the tow ball mass. So when we weigh a caravan, we run the caravan up over the wheel pads, we get the weight on each wheel, the weight on each axle, and we measure the tow ball weight. Add all those together, we get the aggregate trailer mass, or ATM. So ATM is the loaded weight of the caravan. So if people want more information on this, they're getting into caravanning, can they contact you and you'll give My them word. an appraisal? My word. And also, you know, when you're talking to your, with the guys down here at Brisbane Camperland, they'll be able to advise you as to, is your car suitable to tow this van? Because there are a number of things that come into it. One of the most important things to remember when it comes to driving and towing is confidence in your own ability. And after spending some time with Dave, I have no doubt that that will grow.